Today, I'm going on the spot with a legend. Liverpool legend, West Ham legend. Shall I keep going? Yeah. Spurs legend, give it up for Neil Razor Runner! Yeah. Thank, you. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Great to have you here, great thank to have you. you here. What are you up to at the moment? I'm on the after dinner circuit, so uh, travel to, well, all around the world, really, to supporters clubs and tell them the old stories. Great the stories. good old stories <laughs> when footballers could be footballers off the pitch. What do you mean? Well, we that? could be normal off the pitch. You know, now, you know, <laughs> not like to do anything, are they? The, the camera phone's a new paparazzi. Footballers it's, are the new rock stars, aren't they? Well, they are. I mean, we, I think we, we, we started when I was in Liverpool. We were the Spice Boys. We, uh, yeah. we started that. I remember that. I remember so that. It's, it's our fault. All you footballers that can't enjoy all the millions of pounds you're earning, <laughs> it's my fault. Right? <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, on Liverpool, yeah. they have an amazing season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have an amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. season. Um, I mean, top of the league. Yep. Do you think that this is going to be the year? I think so, uh, Rob. I mean, uh, you know, start to see the one point clear. I think what's happened, Man City, I think they peaked. Every, uh, last season, all of their players were playing at the top of their peak. The way Man City played was the top of the peak. The system they played was the top of the peak. Other teams had like three or four players are playing at their peak. But now the other teams' players are getting better. Mm. They realise how good you've got to be if you want to, if you want to go against head to head with Man City. So I think other teams are improved at Man City have stayed the same. Big game for Liverpool this weekend, yeah. Merseyside derby. As a matter of fact, two derbies this week yes. that you used to play in. Yes. The Merseyside derby, obviously Liverpool versus yes. Everton. Yep. And the North London derby, Tottenham versus Arsenal. Yeah. Out of those two derbies, which one was the best one for you? Which one was the most heated one? Um, well, it's two different answers. Like, but the, the, the North London derby is the best, best one to win if you won that. It was great, you know, because Arsenal were a lot, you know, always a better team than us. If, you, if we beat Arsenal in the North London derby, it was great, it was great. In the Mersey derby, if Liverpool, if Liverpool beat Everton in the Mersey derby, they always beat them, so it didn't really matter. But, yeah. <laughs> but the worst one, the worst, the worst, shut up! <laughs> they don't even get banter of people that love me, you know what I mean? What <laughs> but the worst one to lose is. The Merseyside derby. If you lost it, because you can't get away from it. Yeah. It's Liverpool's a city, you know what I mean? In London, if you, if you lost the North London derby, you can get away from it. You go back to your houses and move away. But, yeah. you know, you can't even go and get a bag of chips or the paper or whatever in, in Merseyside without Everton. Hey, hey, say you. <laughs> <laughs> so, North London derby's the best one to win. Mersey derby's the worst one to lose. Yeah, and of course... Is that a good answer that keeps everyone happy? That's a, that's a great answer. <laughs> that's a great answer. And, of course, um... Both of those games happening this week. Yes. For Liverpool, it's really important. They've this got a is... great record against Everton, but do you fancy them? I'm more worried about this one than I am the, against Man United. Um, yeah? Yeah, Mersey Derby, it's, it's a close pitch, small pitch. Uh, Liverpool loves it? spaces, it's good as a bar. Liverpool love big spaces, areas to run and use their pace. Um, mm. it's, it's a tough one. This, this is one. You know, when they start the season, players, uh, uh, pundits always ask players, oh, the, your fixtures list are out now. What's the first one you look for? Is it Everton away? You know, no, I ate them. <laughs> Southampton at home, that's the one I'm looking at. <laughs> the easy games, you know what I mean? You look at the easy games, like Arsenal at home, they're the easy Ooh, ones. Oh. They're the ones I'm looking for, Everton away. No! Well, listen, um, that's the other one, the North London derby. Yeah. Uh, Spurs were flying. Where's that Wembley? Is that Wembley? Spurs were flying. So you'll be all right walking out of Wembley, will you? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> He said, do you want to come? I've got a spare ticket. I ain't going nowhere with you watch football. <laughs> but, um, yeah, listen, who's going to win that one for you? Um, uh, Tottenham, of course. Are you yeah. They've got a good record. Listen, listen, we've had a bad, bad couple of weeks, you know what I mean? Harry Kane needs a couple of games to get his fitness. Now he's fit. Arsenal, you know, they've won two. Are you two in a spin? Yeah. That's a world record for you for ten years. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's no... <laughs> now, it's us. I'll tell you how it is. I, I want Tottenham to win, but Liverpool, Everton, Tottenham, Spurs, uh, Spurs are anything can happen, can't it? But true, true. I'm just, I'm hoping, you know, me, me aunt, me aunt saying Tottenham, me head saying, don't be flash and telly in case it backfires. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you, know, Tottenham. you know, I want to ask you right now, you, when you played football, you were renowned as being yeah. a hard man, a hard man player. Uh, I've seen you described as one of the hardest toughest players of all time that played yeah. football, right? When you saw what happened last week at Chelsea game with Kepa, where he refused to come off yeah. when he was being substituted, if you'd have been on the pitch at that time... 
Honestly. What, what would you have done? What, what, or would you just have left no, that to the no, manager? No, no, honestly, get yourself, you're mugging yourself off now. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've had a rest. I mean, give, give it two minutes, let me get your breath back. <laughs> now, now you've got to get off. Because there's only been one winner, and that's going to be the gaffer. Do you know what I mean, Sid? Unless it was David James who was big and hard, I'd say, you should do what you want, I ain't getting a <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But you just, there's only going to be one winner. Uh, he's, he's mugging himself off. He's in front of all them people. And, do you know what I mean? You wouldn't even, even in training, if, if you're having a game in training, the managers get off, you, you get off in training when there's no people mm. about. In front of all them people, millions of people watching. What the manager says, the manager says, you have to... Did, did, have that, to... did that show us that it's what awesome. it is all about? It's player power now. We, we hear about this word player power, and the, yeah. in your day, the managers, they rule, I right? Some, uh, but I it's think, changed, hasn't it? And I that think showed it's changed. it. I think it's changed. When I, was, when I was 18, I wanted to be a footballer. I didn't want money. Eight-year-old kids now want money, don't be footballers. That's how football's mm. changed. So you, you, you think it's just that, that epitomised what's yeah. happened with football nowadays? When I played, the manager ruled your life. He could get rid of you. He could put in your reserves. He could make or break you. Nowadays, players can make or break managers. Well, you see that Man United. Mm. So, I mean, it has turned, but even in that situation, goalkeeper, the manager says you're off, you get off. Ever thought of uh, going into back into football, management, maybe? Would you trust... Coaching? Would you... <laughs> <laughs> would you... Would you trust me with your football club? <laughs> I'd only go back if I could Arsenal... If I could manage Arsenal, let me tell you. <laughs> see, well... We go down, but what a laugh us Tottenham fans have. <laughs> Listen, give it up for Neil Razor Rudder! <laughs>